Today we're going to go over a Thaxton Firearms fluted threaded barrel for the Glock 19 and that's coming up next here on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. First off, I got to put a disclaimer out there. YouTube, this is a factory drop-in barrel. This is not modifying the gun in any way, shape, or form. It's still a semi-automatic gun and it's still going to shoot like a semi-automatic gun even with this in it. Now that we got that out of the way here, I'd like to thank Facts and Firearms for sending this out to the channel. If you guys didn't know, I am now an affiliate of theirs and it's nice to get some quality made in the USA parts sent out to the channel for us to try out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this over to the table, open it up, then I'm going to tell you some of the features about it, and then we're going to take it outside and try it out. So let's get started. Now we're going to pop this open and see what all it comes with real quick here. Don't look like there's much in the blister pack. We've got the backing here and the barrel. First, let's look at this backing. Very nice, legible, tells you all the information about it right there on the front. Same on the back, we got more information and that's done real nicely there. Now let's look at the barrel. The barrel here does come with a thread protector. I've bought cheaper threaded barrels and they did not come with a thread protector. But the finish looks great on this. Nice smooth feed ramp there. Can't really see down the rifling here. But that looks really nice. Turn it over to this side. Fluting looks great. Look at that Faxon logo, that looks cool. 9x19 nine G19. That is a real nice touch, so let's go over some of the features about this. This barrel is made from 416-R stainless steel, and the finish on it is a salt bath nitride. The barrel comes in a 1 in 10 twist, and it has conventional rifling. This means you can shoot cast bullets through it. The end of the barrel has an 11 degree target crown. This helps protect the rifling and everything for when you're shooting it. Now the threads on this are a half by 28 and another nice touch is they put an o-ring on it to help keep your thread protector or whatever you're putting on from loosening up. That is a real nice touch. This barrel is compatible with Gen 1 through Gen 5s. And another great thing about this is it has a lifetime guarantee and is made in the USA right here in my home state of Ohio. Now I want to go over a couple things about this. You can see right here the thread protector, the knurling on it is really good to get a hold of it to loosen it and tighten it. Right there you can also see the o-ring that I told you guys about. That helps keep this locked in while you're shooting. That way it don't come off. That's really nice on that. The finish on this looks great. The fluting looks great. I don't see nothing wrong with the finish anywhere on this. Look at the lock up here. Lock up looks good. Check that feed ramp out. That feed ramp is nice and smooth. This thing looks like it's ready to roll. Now what I want to do is check the chamber support on it. Now we got the stock Glock 19 Gen 5 Marksman barrel here. And what I want to do is check chamber support. We'll pop that round in there real quick. Take a look at this here. And you can see there's a little bit of an opening there, which you're going to see. So that's supported a lot better than an old Glock. Now on 9mm it's not really an issue, but on some Glock models like 40 cal, you'll get a smiley face and some reloaders want to know that. So we'll drop that out here, grab our Faxton barrel, that plops right in there, and you can see right there we got the same thing. Barely anything showing, the chamber support on this is pretty dang good. So now let's go ahead and get this barrel installed. Now we got it installed on the slide, man does that look good. Look at that barrel hood there faxed in and everything that looks great in case you want to see what it looks like here underneath the spring that's what it looks like there look at the front of it sticking out not too bad this looks good so now let's get this on the frame take it outside and shoot it now we're outside there's something i forgot to show you inside and i want to do that before this gets hot and dirty i want to show you guys the lock up on this look at this this thing does not budge at all that has got some serious lockup, nice tight fit. So let's go ahead and get a magazine loaded up and try this out. All right, the first magazine we're going to try out is a 15 round P mag in this. We'll try this out, loaded it just fine. We're going to go for the big silhouette on the stand here. All right, hitting that one no problem. Let's try the small plate. All right, 
Let's go for the MGM Targets Coyote here. Nice. Big silhouette. Small silhouette. Ooh, missed that. All right, we got it on the last one. It's functioning real well. Let's go ahead and try another one out. All right, so far so good for the Saxton threaded barrel and the Glock 19 Gen 5. Let's try that small plate again. All right, shooting all those just fine. Now I'm gonna rapid fire the rest. Nice, working good. Now, this is a Gen 5. They said this works through Gen 1 through 5. So what we're gonna try next is, is I got my Palmetto State Dagger here. This is gonna be a Gen 3 clone. Let's put it in this and try it out. Now we got it in the Palmetto State Armory Dagger here. And if you guys know, this is a Gen 3 clone. So let's check this out on here. Let's check lockup. We got some slight movement in there. Now I'm not gonna hold that against the barrel here because Faxon is a good quality firearm. This barrel here is basically 200 beans. This gun it sells for 299 beans. So I'm not going to blame it on the barrel on this one for the lockup not being tight. Mostly when the barrel is only 100 beans cheaper than what the gun is. Let's get the magazine loaded up and try it out in this and see if it'll fire. All right, PSA dagger. It loaded the first round. Let's try it out. Big silhouette here. All right, small silhouette. Get that piece of brass over there. Nice. Coyote. All right, works in the Gen 3 clone also. Gotta love that. Let's load up another magazine. All right, now what I'm going to do is just some double taps on the bigger targets and then when we get down towards the end of the mag, I'm going to rapid fire it. So let's try this out here. We'll go from, let's say, right to left here. All right, not bad. Let's rapid fire. Nice. This thing is working out great. Gotta love it when an American-made product works. Love this Faxon threaded barrel. Now, before I go over my thoughts on this, I want to tell you guys something about aftermarket barrels. Most of the aftermarket barrels are made by one or two companies, and then whoever the company is that's selling them, they have them make them to their spec and slap their name on it. One thing I like about Faxon Firearms is they're made in the USA, and they're made in-house here in Ohio, which is my home state, and you gotta love that. Basically, this thing performed good. Now you're gonna say, Jesse, why didn't you do an accuracy test? I'll tell you guys right now, these barrels are more accurate than what I'll ever will be. And I'm gonna tell you what, there's probably not much difference between this and a Glock barrel. The only thing that's better about this is, it is threaded on the end, it is fluted. And if you guys like doing the Gucci Glocks, this is something that you might want for your Gucci Glock. So my final thoughts on it is, yes, I give it a thumbs up, I recommend it. I mean, there's only so much a barrel does. Does it work? Yes. Does this one look good? Yes. What else is nice about this? It's threaded. That's nice about it. And like I said, with accuracy, nobody's gonna be more accurate than what the barrel is on this. This thing does everything that I want. It locks up good in my Glock. It's a little bit loose in this Palmetto State Armory, but as you guys saw, it fires just fine. So as always, don't forget to check my link tree out down below. Down there, I'm gonna have axle hearing protection and Gator's eyewear. This is my favorite safety pro I like using. There'll be links down there to other stuff that I like using. Some of them got discount codes to save you guys money. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are one nation under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.